Welcome back to another learning session with your boy Nico Schultz. Let's jump right into this. 800 meters indoors. Let's say I'm a high schooler, sophomore, junior, and I'm looking to break two indoors, right? It's four laps on an indoor track. Now, whether or not that is a flat track or an elevated bank track, the strategy is gonna stay the exact same. Obviously, you got four laps, and the only way that you're gonna break two is obviously if a few of those, la a few of those laps are gonna be under 30 seconds. Now, with the mentality, positioning is everything indoors, even more than it is outdoors, because it's so confined indoors and there's not a lot of space to move around, positioning is key. So my best advice for you, if you wanna break two, you have to start out aggressive. So given it right here, if I'm trying to break two in the indoor 800 meter, right, I'm starting here most likely at a waterfall start. Your first three to four steps are gonna be absolutely crucial and it's gonna tell, be a telltale sign of how your race is gonna go. So no matter or not if you're the fastest guy or the slowest guy, you're gonna have to get out with a fast and aggressive start. So here, I start my race, I'm getting out aggressive here on this short little curve because it is indoors. I'm getting out, I'm trying to be within the first three positions, either one, two, or three, within the first five to six seconds of that race. So I'm going all the way, all the way around, all the way around, all the way around. Now right here, obviously, this, you wanna be aggressive. You wanna attack, 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 attack try to get around, you're gonna catch a few elbows most likely, but make sure you are on against the, uh, against the railing. Make sure you are in the innermost lane and make sure that you are not tripping over anybody or make sure you're not on the far outside like chilling out here in lane like you know three or four because that's where the danger zone is and you're gonna end up running a lot more than 800 meters. But as for the time you should be aiming for, if I'm gonna break two, honestly, you should be aiming for anywhere around the 27 point like six range, like 27 high, or 28 low range within your first 200 meters. It's gonna end really quick. I mean, your first 100 meters, if you really wanna break it down like that, should be anywhere from 13 to 14 seconds up here. Um, but like I said, now we're transitioning from the first 200 into from 200 to 400. So I finish up my first lap around here. Like I said, I want that to be anywhere around 28-ish seconds. Now, after that, you're gonna really have to find your stride and be relaxed. It's gonna be a lot of curves. The only reasons that outdoor races are faster than indoor races is because there's more straight lines. The straightaways are 100 meters rather than these straightaways, which are 50 meters. So the shortest distance between two points is a straight line. So that's why your outdoor times are faster. But that doesn't change your race plan at all for indoor season, all right? You gotta make sure that you're still being aggressive and still running gracefully, even on those curves. Now, if you want some advice on how to run the curves, um, you can't run it obviously like a normal straightaway. You can't be running straight up uh, on those curves and expect to obviously um, hit the turn correctly. You're gonna have to lean into it a little bit. You know, uh, it's hard enough to find your stride as an 800 meter, right? You, as an 800 meter runner, you wanna stay dorsiflex with your feet, but at the same time too, indoors, you're gonna have to give a little bit of a tilt when leaning into that curve. So you're going into the curve, you're kind of giving yourself like a little tilt with your left uh, shoulder right here, and you still wanna be against that railing, kind of like right around here, you don't wanna be in lane three, all right? One to two is right where you wanna be. You don't wanna run more than you have to. Now let's jump back into this, right? So from this 28, that means you're in prime position to go ahead and try to break two. Now, our next goal right here for this 200 is gonna be around the 29 range. Now, I sincerely apologize for this marker, it sucks. But if you were to go 28, 29, you are gonna be in prime position because you're gonna be in that 58 to 57-ish range depending on the points but if you open up your first 400 indoors with a 58, all you have to do is hold out with two sets of 30s. 30 and 30 and bam, you break two. Now obviously it's easier said than done. And so when you're coming across the 400, let's call it uh, 58.6 seconds. Let's say you hang on for your life, you go 28, you're still feeling good. But now from 400 to 600, this is the most important lap of the indoor 800 meter run for any time you're trying to hit because it is the most mentally challenging. You're already far enough into the race where it's hurting really bad, the lactic, but at the same time too, you're still kind of far away from the finish line and a lot can still happen. And so this is where you're gonna have to mentally stay very, very, very strong, okay? And when you're going from you know 58 seconds and you're trying to reach that 200, that 200 meter mark, I honestly would recommend you to make a move here. From the 400 to 600, if you're in the back of the pack and you messed up within your first start and you've been kind of chasing everybody, this is where I would recommend you to go from like sixth or seventh place and push for like fourth or third place because a lot of guys in the front of the pack are gonna wanna be settling, settling in, they're gonna wanna be relaxed. But in the back of the pack, if you still have a lot of built up energy because you got out in like 28 to 30 or even 31 seconds, this is where you strike and this is where you make your move. But as I mentioned before, 
make sure it's still relaxed, make sure it is a, uh, a well-planned move, and make sure you don't fall or make sure you're not swinging wide into lane six or something like that. Make sure your move is methodical. Make sure that you kind of sneak around somebody because you want to not run too far in the indoor 800. That's a big flaw that a lot of 800 meters run to have. It's something that I even struggled with too, was swinging super wide trying to pass somebody when in reality, I should have just waited for something to open up or, you know, uh, cut on the inside of somebody. So just take that into account. Now, going into your last lap, right? So you want that 600 goal pace to end, honestly just be sub 130, all right? Whether or not it is 127, 128, 129, it really does not matter. All that matters is who's gonna win this race now, okay? And so going into this last lap, the best advice I got for you guys is honestly just kick. Give it everything you have. Now, I'm probably a really good spot to kick. We'll kind of be around here the 700 meter mark range, but I would definitely consider making a move somewhere around here. And the best place to make a move would probably be right around here, this kind of last curve right here. It's really hard to make a move on the curve and swing wide on somebody. And so I really recommend to utilize this curve right here, kind of slingshot against it. Remember what I told you about before when you're kind of leaning into that curve, uh, do your best to kind of be on the outside of somebody's shoulder up until right here, like 750 meters and then go ahead and just give it everything you have right here to try and go ahead and break two. Another really great method to break two is gonna be planning and journaling. This journal right here, it's a performance journal that I use for every single one of my races. If you wanna take a look at what it looks like right here, you have your date, your short-term goals, your focuses, your cues, your workouts and feedback. Anything and everything you wanna achieve should be written down in a journal or manifested. And so I recommend you to go ahead and purchase this journal online. It's only $8 on Amazon, link below. And like I said, this is gonna be my key to try to make it to nationals. Obviously I have my race strategies here, but behind the scenes, your spirituality and your mental aspect of the game is so, so, so important. Do not neglect it. $8 on Amazon. I highly recommend this performance journal. Now today's video was short, but I really hope this helped all you guys and go ahead and break two this indoor season. Let's go.